Hi everyone, hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So today I'll be sharing with you this very beautiful 20 centavos silver coin issued for the country of Philippines. This coin was minted in 1945, the final year of the Second World War, and just prior to the country's independence in 1946. During the time when this coin was issued for circulation, Philippines was a United States administrative territory, and the country was known as the Commonwealth of Philippines. For this video, we're going to start with the specifications of the design of this coin, then we're going to take a look at both sides of the coins before ending with my final thoughts. But before we get into this, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Alright, uh, let's start by quickly going through the specifications of this coin. This 20 centavos Philippine coin is minted in 75% silver and 25% copper. The coin has a weight of 4 grams, giving it an actual silver weight of just under 0.01 of a troy ounce. The coin has a diameter of 21 mm and a thickness of 1.6 mm with a fully readered edge. These coins were minted for 5 years during a period running between 1937 to 1945. Three mints were involved with the production of these coins, the San Francisco Mint, the Denver Mint, and the Manila Mint. For 1945, which is the final year that these coins were produced, a total of 90,204,000 coins were minted by the Denver Mint. In 1945 itself, the Mint produced 82,804,000 coins, and another 7,400,000 coins were produced in the following year of 1946. Right here on the office, we have the coat of arms of Philippines, depicting an eagle with the wings spread out above a shield. And in the banner just below the shield, we have the words Commonwealth of Philippines. Surrounding the coat of arms, we have the issuing country, United States of America. And just below the shield, we have the year issue, 1945, for this particular coin. And just to the left of that, we have the min mark indicating of where this coin was minted. We have the letter D indicating the Denver Mint. Do note that while these coins were minted between 1935 to 1945, the 20 centavos denomination has been in use since 1898, during the time when Philippines was a US sovereign territory. Uh, prior to 1935, the design on the obverse of the coins are different. I don't actually have a coin to show you, but I can put up a picture of it right over here. As you can see, the design of the eagle on the obverse is completely different than the one shown on this coin here. Now while the design on the obverse was changed, the design on the reverse remained the same throughout the series, and on the reverse, we can see a standing woman holding onto a hammer with a right hand, and the hammer is resting on an anvil. Just to the right, we can see a smoking volcano. This is Mount Mayon, which is located southeast of the capital of Manila. Surrounding the image, we have the face value of the coin, 20 centavos. And just below the woman, we have the name of the country in Spanish, Filipinas. Well, as you can see, this coin has been graded by NGC, achieving a grade of mid state 64. According to the NGC website, there are a total of 419 20 centavos coins that have been graded. The lowest grade for the population being one coin in extra fine 45, while the highest grade for the population is just one coin in mint state 68. For this grade of mint state 64, there are a total of 93 coins. Well, with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed learning about this last 20 centavos coins issued for the Commonwealth of Philippines in 1945. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always, from all my friends here, you all please take care, be safe and have a nice day.